Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Tuning School. I'm back with Bob. We're reviewing more of the results from injection testing. We're going to see what methanol can do against boost juice and who the overall winner is going to be. Alright, so we're going to be talking about methanol and how it stacks up against boost juice. Yep. But before we do that, let's talk about what exactly methanol is. Sure. Uh, I believe it's called wood grain alcohol, so it's okay. derived from wood uh, okay. as opposed to the ethanol people see in their fuels that comes from corn. Okay, yeah. all right, very cool. Yeah. Um, and this, what we have here is just straight ethanol. We sourced it locally from a speed shop here in town. Methanol. Excuse me, methanol. 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 I will try not methanol. to confuse that. Yes. So, not to confuse any of you at home. Yes. So, this is just stuff we source locally. Yep. It's straight up, no mixing, yep. no water. Just pour it in. See what we can do. Yep. All right, so now let's look at the horsepower that we got out of this. Sure. So look at our last results. The Boost Juice made 608 yep. and 535 put foot pounds. Yep. So we're looking at 616 yep. with straight methanol yep. and 542 foot pounds. Yes. That is a ton. That's great. We, we were really impressed with that result. I mean, it's really good. Yeah, we were really, ha like, you can't really do better than that. And when you look at it, yeah. you're better than all your race fuels, right? Right. Because you already surpassed the race fuels yep. with the boost juice. Yep. And while I'm thinking about it, we actually, oh, yeah. we, need to, a we need to take the belt away. Oh, it fits and put so him nice. On. Look at this look guy. Look at the wall that fits. This guy, he's the winner. All right. It's beautiful. So, and he's the overall winner winner because that's the last of you know our injections but he is what we were talking about earlier is it really honestly got us within two percent of what the ethanol did yeah and if you compare it to like regular e85 it made 618 so you're yeah. within two horsepower uh, you're literally right there um and then your you know vp which is your racing uh, fuel version of e85 was called c85 mm -hmm. that would make it made 629 so it made good power but you're within a couple percentage points of you know any of the ethanol based fuels and we kind of got to look into try and figure out what was the secret sauce here you know mm -hmm. methanol obviously works we saw it work because there was some concentration of yeah. it in boost juice so there is energy being delivered to the fuel because mm -hmm. the base fuel here is just 93 octane pump gas yeah absolutely yeah yeah and then what we found is what we actually did is we looked up the chemical compound of what this stuff is sure and it actually has oxygen oxygen in it it's yeah. got an oxygen molecule it does and interestingly enough of the fuel series the stuff that was really killing all the rest of the stuff sure. was the ethanol which yep. also has an oxygen it molecule also has an oxygen molecule and even the stuff that was non ethanol like even you know you're looking at stuff that still a lot of times has oxygen in it it's yeah. added from uh, like in a chemical yeah. way right. at like a manufacturing mm -hmm. level mm -hmm. and that stuff does really well as well so we're kind of right. seeing this common trend here that sure. anything oxygenated Seems is working really well, well. Yeah. yeah and so that was you know we're where basically brings us to pros and cons that was definitely sure. one of the pros sure as far as cons this one has a few compared to the others compared to boost juice it has a couple of cons i mean it's nothing killer something nothing terrible. crazy yeah Maybe much better power uh but it, it is harder to acquire right so you're not going to go down and you know you can't buy it on amazon yeah like, you, just order you can't a, really ship it it's tough to ship because it's a flammable liquid and it's a hazmat mm -hmm. so you do have to go pick it up somewhere probably from a racetrack or something like that yeah. or a speed shop like we did absolutely yeah but it's a little yeah. bit harder to get your hands to on acquire, but you probably would buy enough to get you through a couple months or something yeah absolutely um, so that would be the the downside yeah and then um the other thing that is kind of a downside to it like you said it was flammable mm -hmm. it's also kind of corrosive sure um, these meth kits most of the time are absolutely designed to take it, but mm -hmm. even the manufacturers of the meth kits will tell you after a couple of years, you really should send your pump back in to be like reconditioned, have the rubbers sure. replaced in it. Sure. So there is corrosive properties to it, and you guys just kind of have to keep that and in mind. And that's going to happen even with the boost juice, just not as fast because it's right. not as concentrated. Yeah, the only thing it wouldn't happen with is the water. Straight up water, but you're paying a penalty in power. So exactly. I would, you, you I would run. Kit, I wouldn't run the water. Yeah, I would run a meth kit pump. Yep. For two years, and at, just have them check for, it out yeah, for a week for that great yeah. amount of power that you're really going to gain from it. Yeah, ship it. So check it. Uh, pros, uh, we were saying that one, the first ones was is it's crazy cold. Yes. So this thing, unlike just straight water, cool. is going to cool a lot. And I, we don't really you know show it in this particular scan or in this particular um, chart, but when we did get good IAT data, um, which was hard to get, but when we did actually get good IAT data, it was a good 20, 30 degrees yeah, colder. It was as cold as 66, yeah. like to 70 degrees, yeah. about 5,000 RPM. Yeah, it was nice and cool. I mean, it was really cold, and that's just yeah. the properties of alcohol. You know, right. as alcohol evaporates, it takes the heat with You're it. the heat, yeah. Right, and so that's sure. really the positive side mm -hmm. to this methanol stuff is it really does take Cooling, a lot of heat with and it. And it provides energy from the Right, and then the oxygen, molecule. like we said, that's the, that's the big pro. Yeah. So I, that pretty much wraps it up yeah. for this one. We were really impressed with the results, but 
We're not quite done yet. We're almost done. We're close, but we're not quite there. We actually have a bonus video yes. that we're going to do for you guys. We are going to take the best of everything and test them together. Right. So we saw some of your comments on Facebook and YouTube and things like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the best ethanol-based fuel, which right. is C85, and we're going to run it with the meth because right. it was the best injection. Right. We're also going to take the best just straight gasoline that we found, mm -hmm. which is uh, C16, and we're going to run it with straight meth as well. And we're going to see at the end of the day, if you're combining this stuff together, which one's going to make the most horsepower overall, yes. ultimate winner. It's like the heavyweight champion of the world. Heavyweight champion of the world. It's yes. going to be good. We're excited. Yes. And you guys should be too. So for more high performance tuning knowledge, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our social media pages, and as always, stay tuned.